Hello everyone, I'm Rec B5. And I'm Sandman99. And we're back with Hot Shots Golf 1. Yeah, and today we're gonna play a little bit of uh Stroke Play. Stroke play, two player. And I am absolutely choosing Iceman. You're absolutely gonna be absolutely. Iceman. Absolutely. So if you look at uh uh the way it goes, right? Iceman, he has just enough control so that he can keep the ball on target, but then he also has a crazy high amount of spin. Yes, he does. Well, I think I am going to play with... I don't know. <laughs> See, Buzz has a lot more control than Iceman, but he has no spin. Yeah. Not sure that makes it much of a difference for me. But maybe what we'll do is we'll uh, give Raul a try. Oh, look at that. Daryl is the power hog. He's hey. also the pin, the spin hog. Yeah. Look at the spin. But he's got the worst control in the game, probably. Yeah, he's got half the control of Iceman. Yeah. Okay. Buzz, I think, has the highest control of the top tier characters, and then Susan is like uh, the break point. She's kind of well balanced. Well, I think I'm going to go with Ralph. I was thinking about going with Ralph, so I think I'm going to go with Ralph. All right, we'll go with Ralph then. And here we'll we play are. the regular tees. The regular tees on course five. Yes. You'll like course five. You'll like course six when we get to it. Um, not from what you've told me. <laughs> <I don't. sighs> uh, thankfully, I can hit the ball a mile. It never does roll down this hill much. No, but you still got a really long drive. <laughs> Guess I should probably play that wind a little, hey? Well, you're in a tough spot, because this fairway is very technical if you can't hit past the uh, uh, cacti there. Yeah. Well, we're out here and we're going to play. I think you put that in the rough. Think so? Oh, you rolled oh, out of it. I rolled out of it. I'm You're a only a driver away. away. I'm a long ways away, though. You could hit driver from here. Can I? Yeah, you could hit driver from here. I don't want to. I wouldn't hit a power shot. I think you just a standard driver is within your range if you hit it full power. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll try. Uh-oh, shanked it. Might be okay anyway. Well, you hit the green. Yeah. Nice on. I'm uh, 300 putt distance away anyway. Huh. Hmm, gonna come out lower than it, I expect here. I chose Ralph for his uh, control, actually. Uh, because when you do hit it slightly off on the impact zone, it's a little more forgiving, right? Yeah. So, Whereas Iceman has, like, no forgiveness. And I, I'm not playing under any illusions that here that I'm going to win this match, so... Uh, it's just all about doing well. Yeah. It's a game against yourself. Oh, I'm already at the max putting thingy the jig. Yep. It's 20 some odd inches uphill, I think. 30 some odd inches. Inch. Yeah. Well, that's as good of an attempt at any. Oh. Look at you. Well, it was straight in, right? I didn't have to <laughs> play any breaks or anything. All I had to do was just hit it far enough to make it. Yeah, this is actually a really flat green, isn't it? Hmm. Well, we'll see. Nice Go, Iceman! He's got really skinny legs. Hmm. 
Well, I didn't get all of that, unfortunately. Oh well. You're on the green. Nice on. This is from the normal tees. Imagine how long this is from the back tees. Yeah. Wow, I have to hit a power shot just so I can get there. Or at least something resembling close to there. The front tees are only, I think, 10 yards closer, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This hole is just designed that way. It's nice just shot. long. Oh, you got me beat. Yeah, by a little bit, anyway. That's about <laughs> as far as I can hit it. <laughs> <laughs> If I could have hit it further, I could have maybe got closer to the hole, but uh, I got max distance out of that shot, too. Well, the only way I could have gotten it closer is if I'd have ran at it like Happy Gilmore or something. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this hole is just designed that way, by design. It's just a, a long asshole. Hmm. Okay, so it's not uphill too much. I don't think I can hit the very end of that power bar, though. Well, try hitting one exactly one-third of this power bar, then. Yeah. Or a little harder than one-third. Oh, I missed. I guess I overplayed it a little. I think you had the right idea. At least you've got a makeable putt for par. Mm. Well, I haven't made it yet. There you go. Easy. You're a professional out there. Flower picker. Ah. <laughs> He's a professional flower picker? Yeah. Maybe that's what he does for a living. He's a gardener. Ralph the gardener plays hot shots golf on the side. I don't know. It would explain all the flowers. Yeah. Well, it's pretty funny because you know how when we've been playing Fallout 4 and sometimes chatting about how I'm overly uh, fond of picking flowers and picking up items and things like that along the way. Because you are. Yeah. And uh, one of the people that watches that video, our videos regularly, put in a comment that says there was way too much shooting and not enough flower picking in this episode. <laughs> <clears throat> so I thought that was pretty funny, actually. Uh, you could never have too much shooting. You could never have too much flower picking. <laughs> shooting! More shooting, more boom boom. Yeah. More DACA. Well, there just happened to be a lot of shooting in that episode because everybody and his dog wanted to stop me from getting for to where I was trying to go. Yeah. But, uh... Oh, I got that crap lie going on here too, don't I? You still got more than enough club though. You're about half a club too much. Oh. So. Although you did hit that really badly. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh well, what can I do? I, I'm not good at this game. It happens to the best of us. So I mean, anyway, hell. just a shout out to that fellow that made that post. We'll try and do more flower picking in the future. More shooting! <laughs> God, I shanked it now. Too much flower picking. It's got me shanking my shots now. I'm blaming it on that. Well, at least you made it on in two. How far away am I? I can do this. Okay. Uh... good thing I didn't put any backspin on that or I wouldn't <laughs> have made it. I just yep. barely barely made it up onto the green. Well, that's how it goes sometimes. Ooh, I hit that a little too hard. I hit that like 65 feet hard. <clears throat> I was right on line, but... Oh well. We're still gonna get a par. Hey, that looks straight in. Okay. Make sure you hit it hard enough. Yeah. It's uphill. Yeah.
There you go. Hey. The par. A great recovery after that second shot that was really not very good. No, I gotta deal with this stupid par. Par, par, par. So you're happy when you get a par. <laughs> Iceman <laughs> feels how I feel when I get a par. Yeah, he's just going through it in his mind, trying to yep. figure out what went wrong. That's right. Wow, you got... you. Yeah, you, you have to really dial back here for this. I'm okay with that, though. Better to stay safe. This is one of those short technical holes. Yeah. One of those short technical messes. Well, I don't have to dial back as much because I just plain can't hit the ball as far as I can. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you'll be all right. You'll be okay. Or not. Nah. Uh, I might as well have just pounded it out there as far as I could. <laughs> for what that got me. Well, you do have a good angle on the hole, though. Not in front of any trees or anything. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll switch to one bigger club since I'm in That's the That's one smaller. Is that one? Yeah, it is. You're right. Seven yeah. irons, one bigger. Duh. Okay. You'll well, have to take a little off it, though. Yeah. Well, if I have to do that, I might as well just go back to this. <laughs> well, we'll see if that makes it. Come on, get on there. Oh, you made it. Nice yeah. Well, I'm on in two anyway. I don't know what's worse, the wind or the slant. Yeah. Oh, uh, I needed full power on that. That's too bad. Well, you still made it on. Looks like the wind was worse. Nice on. You know, I think I'm just gonna play that more or less like it's straight in too. Uh, that'll be good. Or so I think. Oh, well, it was pretty close to straight in, but not quite. Yeah, you put one in on the first hole that was less straight than that. Oh, well. That one was so close, I know, I, I think it was close enough that I couldn't read a break on it anyway. Ah! <laughs> See, I overplay everything. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Par. Another par. The par. Ugh, I hate this course. <laughs> Yay! All right, let's see here. <laughs> Play the same old shot, the same old way, yep. same old time. For you, it doesn't matter. You can't actually hit yeah, that I can't. I can't actually hit it that far, so I'm just <laughs> going to try and give myself as much fairway as possible. And, uh... Just hit it out there. <laughs> okay, Mo. Mo Norman. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just take this thing and hit that thing out there. Good old Mo Norman. Ah. 
can't hit a straight shot to save my life. Well, it's okay. You're on the beach again. Oh, no, you're in the rough. Never mind. Yeah. See that? He pulled it to the left because of the control issue off of hitting off that bad line. Ah. Uh. Yeah, so poor guy, he only got like 11 feet from the hole, hey? Eh? That's right. Okay, we're how far away? We're uh, 30 yards away. Okay. Oh. Well, you're hitting your chips straight. Oh! Oh, I almost put wow. that in. <laughs> See? <clears throat> you got the short game, man. See, I almost ice manned you there, eh? Almost. Oh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Some oh, of these wow. days, I just can't, can't play. Just some of these days. It must be psychological or something. Mm. You're overthinking it. It usually takes you five or six holes to get going anyway. Yeah, for some reason. Nice shot. Even if you spent some time on the driving range before doing this like you did. Yeah, well, and the thing is, is, I look good on the driving range, and I'm never good when I get on the course. Nobody would ever actually believe me that I scored, like, minus 13 on this course if I hadn't done as well as I did on the tournament. <laughs> this is a par five, isn't it? Yep. And it's a long one. Well, well it's short not one. A, not a particularly long one, but anyway. It's a makeable one. Yeah. Should still be in play. That's why I figured it was worth taking the chance this time around. Although I gained absolutely nothing by it. Can I even hit a three wood here, or am I going to do one of those stupid into the hill kind of things here? I have no idea. I I think you'd be fine, but I don't want to be like the one responsible oh, right. for it. Use backspin. There. Nice shot. I think the backspin actually is the only thing that stopped you from hitting into the side of the hill. I can never tell <laughs> because it all looks the same to me. But like here is much worse. But I only have to hit a two iron. Yeah, but that was a very good second shot. It was. Nice on. Well, here we go. See, you could almost bump and run from here. be wary about your roll. You're going to get a lot more roll with that type of club. Yep. Okay, so we're going to go... just like that. Ooh. Well, that's not bad. No, I'm not going to complain about that. Donk. Here's Iceman at his most expressive. Yep. <laughs> Got the eagle. Sharp, nasty break. Yeah. But I gave it a little bit more firmness there, and I was all right. The flower on his head. Yeah. I hate this hole. And it hates me. Nice 
nice shot. Ah, oh, couldn't stick it on. It was in a headwind. <laughs> the headwind just wasn't strong enough. Well, you made it over the bunker. At least. I made it over the bunker, but that didn't turn out the way I hoped that it would. <laughs> See, man, I told you, Gary Player. Was, I, he made like this VHS tape I saw once. He's like talking about how he likes to chip on with a four iron, man. Yeah. Well, why not? I mean, it would behave kind of a little bit like a putter ish. Yeah, just enough to get you over that rough little bit of fringe, I guess. Yeah. I'm so far away, it's still giving me wind here. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well. Yeah, that is not a putt I would want to try. Uh oh. It's okay, you got something a little more makeable now. Mm. Looks like it started to kind of roll away on me up down the uh, down the slope. Well, it's uphill putts are a little easier because yep. they don't break as much. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't get all of it, but we'll see how far that goes. Yeah. Well, putting is the hardest part of this game, I think. Yeah. Because you can recover from one bad shot, you know, like on, out on the fairway or whatever. But, you know, if you miss a putt, you're pretty much done for, right? This is another par five. Yep. It's that one with the big hill in the middle. Oh. Uh, since I've got the extra distance, I'm actually going to try to get around the hill. Ooh, look at that. You hit a good shot there. I did all right. I mean, I'm going to take three to get there anyway, but I figured maybe if my second shot is a little bit shorter and I can make it drop something in a little more accurately, or not. <laughs> He's going to aim you right at the hill to start with. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to go over here. I'm going to use backspin. I might even... I might even uh, might even do something like this too just to make sure get over the hill yeah because it's not like I need to make a huge amount of distance here right yeah that was probably a smart decision you probably wouldn't have made it over that hill trying well, to hit a three -wood. I mean you know what there's no point trying to go right at the green there I'm not going to make that shot with that big hill in the way right but I can knock it onto the green from a hundred yards away. I mean, that's no big deal. <laughs> nice shot. Oh, oh, you didn't quite make it, but not you're quite. close. I overaimed it a little. I you're guess. in pretty good shape there. <laughs> There you go. Let's see how smart I was there. Hmm? Nice on. Not bad. Yeah, sometimes backspin can really actually harm you more than hurt you or than help you, right? Well, I didn't really want to shorten that shot up. I wanted it to roll a little bit after it landed, if it did land on the green. 
Yeah. Gonna do it again? Nope, not quite. Not quite. Nice approach. That's brutal. Nice brutal oh, you're, brutal. you're, you're uh, rolling now. Yeah, I don't know what it is about the first few holes all the time. I go out there and I play like uh, Phil for a while. Yeah, you're just a <laughs> slow. You're just a slow starter. That's all. Ooh, we have no wind. <clears throat> hey, so I don't even have to do anything fancy to cut this anymore. No. It makes you wonder why AI Iceman doesn't cut that. Hmm. Instead, he just plays his driver way off over to the left. Well. Right where you're aiming. You could cut that. You could cut it without a power shot, probably, but I guess you could use one if you want to. Thing well, is, you have to hit it full power if you want to cut it without a power shot. Yeah. I think a power shot is appropriate for here. I would suggest backspin, too. Oh. Higher shot trajectory. Well, good thing you took the power shot. Yeah. <laughs> made it. You made it. Kind of a crap lie, but you're also downhill. Ooh, look at you nice go. Yeah. Oh. I'm okay nice with that. On. There must be like a small mound on the green or something. Yeah, maybe. That's well, okay. Yeah, there is. You can see it from here. I'm going to top spin it towards the damn mound. <laughs> <laughs> Screw rolling down the mound. That's an ugly mound. That's a really uphill putt, too. Yeah, I guess that's why your ball rolled backwards. You didn't hit that that much harder than you needed to. No, I just uh, didn't quite play it right, that's all. Anyway, any putt that lands you uh, three feet from the cup, though, is not bad. True. Unless you were three feet from the cup to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> well, what if you were four feet from the cup? It would still be bad. <laughs> There you go. Now it's raining. Look at all the distance I lost because of the rain. Goddamn rain. You know, I've played golf in the rain before, and I don't remember it taking distance off my shot like that. Nope. Oop, that'll put you in the rough. Well, I'll hit a fade, though. Oh, well, <laughs> okay. Guess it doesn't really make any difference. Power shot forward time? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I 
I think I'm just gonna... Yeah, this is the punishing part of this hole. Yeah, well, you know. I guess if I don't make it, I don't make it. Yeah, this hitting the ball off the fairway on this hole is like a death sentence. Yeah. Well, thing is, now I'm in the rough, but I'm 100 yards away, so I can still put the ball reasonably close to the pin from here. Yeah. That's the way I looked at it. If I didn't clear that rough, it was I was kind of okay with that. Not a bad way th to approach things. Well, I mean, it wasn't an ideal result, but I wasn't about to risk hitting one into even worse trouble than I was already in, right? Nice yeah. shot. Nice on. Look at that. I had two clubs extra there just to get on that green. Because of the rain. That's a good one. Got a makeable par putt. Well, I guess. Or maybe I'll get a bogey finally. That'll be my first bogey of the round. <laughs> right in here. Yes. Nice in. I'm never sure when the when the the, putt, the ball leaves the face of the putter in this game. Make sure you hit it hard with the rain. Yes. Yes! See, I was rooting for you. Yep, that looked ugly getting there, but I managed <laughs> to get the par anyway. Well, you know what? Maybe just belting it back out there was probably the better idea. You know, and then play for par. Instead of uh, the herder, it's time to uh, belt one out there with a power shot type of deal. Well, it's not like I'm playing competitively in a tournament here anyways, so. Oh, I love this part of the fairway. <laughs> I love being able to hit this part of the fairway. I'm going to aim right at the hill. <laughs> That hardly seems like a good idea. Uh, ooh. Excuse you. Yeah. That was well brought up. Too bad I wasn't. Uh-oh. Oh, you're going to be behind the hill. And in the rough. Oh, oh wait. No, you're going to roll down the hill. Oh. Well, yay. Well, you have a good line. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, he's like, I'm going to hit my two iron from here. Yeah. It's like, no, you're not. You might not even be able to hit a nine iron from here. He's by accident. Yeah. I couldn't even hit an eight iron over that hill. Like, Ridiculous. That's, yeah, that's stupid because you know what? In real life, that <laughs> ball might have gone sky high, but it still would have made it. This should be okay, though. Or not. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll land it in the rough there. <laughs> I don't getting... think I'm going to save par on this hole anyway. You're moving in the right direction, at yeah. least. Mostly, though, what I noticed is when you do get screwed up, it's because you can't hit it, hit the ball over a hill that you're in front of, right? Yep. Hills are bad. That's what happened. The hills are the worst hazard, I guess, in this... Nice uh, I don't know, I don't remember, are the later versions of this game like that with the hills too, or do they actually um, play differently? So Hot Shots Golf 2 plays a little differently, but the hills are still a problem. But uh, in general, uh, I think uh, what ends up happening in the later games is you'll hit a hill and then instead of just getting stuck on the hill, you'll ricochet off the hill. And sometimes you can get over the hill and sometimes you might like go flying way the fuck away from the hill. It just kind of depends on... Uh, where where you end up going 
just... Try this. Yeah, I just don't see how you can hit it into the side of a hill when you're already sitting on the side of that hill. Because it's just, the you know, like the way the ball would travel when you swing. <laughs> well, it would is, uh, compress it would, into the hill and then pop up. Well, or it would travel in the same line as the hill, right? Yep. So if you're hitting the ball up a 20 degree slope, which is pretty steep, right? Yeah. Well, then your ball trajectory would be 20 degrees. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, I'm not the most accurate guy in, in real life. I, I belt the ball out there. I can hit it a mile, but I also end up in a lot of hills and a lot of trees. And, uh... Oh, boy. Oh, you got rain cooked. Yeah. Thought I was hitting it hard enough. But, but uh, you know, whenever I've been in that kind of situation and I've hit, like, my irons into the hill or something like that, they just pop, they, they pop like, sky high. Yeah, when I do that, and I generally hit the ball pretty low. So yeah, well, that's, that's what right. I found too, right? You hit if you hit uh, a ball that's resting on an uphill slope, your ball goes higher and shorter. It doesn't just bounce off the side of the hill. <laughs> well, maybe right. shorter for you. I can. <laughs> I just muscle it out there. You got the sausage fingers, but I got the muscle swing. Yeah. <laughs> That being said, occasionally I can hit a ball pretty long ways if I hit it properly. A lot of it is, uh, is uh, technique and club head speed and that kind of thing too, right? Yep. Because I'm actually quite a bit bigger than you. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I generally speaking can't hit the ball as far as you can. Yeah. And a lot of it is, has to do with technique, right? Yeah. You are a lot more consistent than me, though. Yeah. Well, that's because, uh, I don't know, I mean, all the funny little quirky things that I do to try and uh, avoid, you know, slicing and that kind of stuff is that uh, I lose a lot of um, my, my power from doing that, right? Yep. Uh, where, how far do I gotta hit this stupid thing? I gotta hit this thing about, about there. Well, you can putt from there. Yeah. Which is why, uh, you know, like I tend to hit my, my shots relatively short, but fairly straight. Yeah. Remember, you'll want to hit this a little harder because of the rain. Yeah. I'm not going to make it because of the <laughs> rain. You know what? When it rains, we should just pack it in and go and have a beer. <laughs> <laughs> in real life, I don't like playing golf so much that I'm going to play golf out in the rain. If it starts to rain real hard, I just get in my cart and drive back to the clubhouse and go home. <clears throat> Well, I'm falling to pieces now. I'm plus three in the last two holes. Ah, uh, you'll pull it together. Uh, we're... It's just because of the rain. We're out of the rain now. Yeah. Life is looking up. The rain has gone. Yes, I don't play very well in the rain. Weakness to the rain. Yeah. Nice shot. Uh, you oh. hit it too far. I even clubbed down. <laughs> yeah, you hit it too far. Too I clubbed far. down twice. Too far. Could have almost hit a two iron off the tee there. Ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, man. I just can't hit a straight shot today. Well, I think that'll work in your favor, though. Yeah, I guess it'll work okay. 
Yeah, I guess this fairway slopes downhill towards this grass out here. The course designer's like, huh, how can we fuck our players more? Nice shot. Yay, I made a nice shot. Yay. Nice. <sighs> well, I'm in better shape than I was in the last two holes. Well, that's okay. Ooh, you got a nice straight one. Yep. It's uphill. Ah! Oh! You know I did the same say, thing. Close only counts in horseshoes, hand grenades, and atomic bombs. <laughs> this hole just sucks. That's what it is. This hole sucks. I think I even got a chip in eagle on this hole once. This hole still sucks. Totally hit my three wood there. Yep. Well, I don't have to do that. I can just hit this thing. Well, you're in reasonable shape here. Yeah. I'm just going to try and give myself as much fairway to aim at as possible. Again. It's crazy how far to the right edge you ended up there, though, huh? Yeah. Well, that's why I adjusted a little bit, right? Because originally Ralph was aiming at the right edge. I don't know what he was thinking. Nice shot. Ah, who knows? You know that did not curve at all. No. Nope. <laughs> I expected that to curve way more. an uphill green, so you'll have an uphill putt. Yeah, from 50 feet away. <laughs> uh. Hey, but it's very relatively straight looking. Yeah, look at this, eh? Oh, oh! You rolled it over the hole. Yeah. Well, it sort of was just hit the edge, eh? Maybe if I'd hit it slightly less hard, but it's hard to judge how hard to hit it from that far away. Yep. Because you would have done the same thing if you'd hit that too hard, right? Yep. Would have kind of skimmed that edge and then kept going. Yep.
Oh, come on! Yeah, this course is hard. It's a pretty challenging course. Yeah, well, I'm not very good at this game either. Ah, oh. you're doing fine. Oh. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Stomped on your flower hat. Yeah. Yeah, things were going fine until... Uh, that back, stupid hill. The back nine and then the wheels fell off and never managed to get recovered. Meanwhile, you're at minus nine. Nice yep. Shot. And I'm hitting a two iron off the And team. you might be minus double digits by the time this thing's over. Well, that's kind of what I'm hoping for. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to... Club there. down. Yeah. I know a lot of these holes are short. Oh, I should just maybe aim everything too far to the right. Maybe that's what <laughs> Ralph was thinking on that one <laughs> shot. He's going to shank this to the left, so we're going to... Okay. Well, here we go. That might be okay, maybe. You'd be mm. online at least. Well, that actually turned out better than I expected it to. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. You like the AI. <laughs> Calculated shank. What a great shot. Just like I planned. Come on, Wynn. Take a little off that for me. Bite. <laughs> I wasn't sure it was going to bite there. Well, you managed to keep it on the green. Nice well, there you are at double digits. Finally. Under, under par. I made it. Nice one. Yay! Flower man. Yeah, I might be able to make it back to even if I can get one more before the end of this round. Knock on not wood table thing. Yeah. Oh wood. Oh wood, yeah, faux wood. <clears> oh <throat> wood table thing. Actually, I think that table is plastic. Oh, well, there you go. Knock, knock on, on plastic yeah, table knock thing. Knock on plastic. Yep. Ooh, I shanked that. What well, good thing I was hitting a two iron off the tee. Not a lot can go wrong with that. Well, I guess that's a pretty narrow spot, so we'll just have to try and hit it straight. Use your backspin. Well, as it turns out, it's not going to matter. <laughs> well, at least you got all the carry out of it. Oof. Power shot forward! <laughs> yeah. No? Power shot too hard? No. Well, that'll keep the ball in play at least. Yeah, well, I'll be on the fairway-ish, I guess, kind of, and not too far from the green. Look at the mound. See that mound? Yeah. It's miserable. Oh, I shanked it. No, that's garbage. Garbage shot. I'm not. I'm gonna make the bunker. Yep, you made the bunker. <laughs> Dude, I had this idea oh. that I was going to hit it into the front of the hill and yeah. roll it up to the pin. Yeah. Then I shanked it. And it was just like, fuck. Yeah. I had a plan. Then I got hit in the mouth. Ha! No, I took an arrow in the... Yeah.
Not bad. Go putt out of the bunker. Read in the green. And then shanking it the way I was aiming. Yeah, it really didn't matter if you read that green or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess at least I'm within putt and distance. Yeah, I love that, how uh, you're sitting there and you're looking at it and that school's like, your shot is three inches uphill. It's like, what did you do? Get the auto level and the sawtooth rod out? And <laughs> take, take a couple of shots to so you could tell that it was in fact three inches uphill? God. How do you even read something like that by eye? I don't know. Ask a golfer. Even seven inches uphill from, from this far away. like Seems like a lot of inches. Actually, it seems like it would be virtually impossible to uh, actually determine that it was, in fact, seven inches uphill, because it could be th four inches uphill, or it could be a foot <laughs> uphill. I mean, how do you know? I don't know. Maybe they just go like, yo, it looks like it's about half a foot uphill. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's how a golfer would do it. Yeah. Well, computer, I guess with the computer, you can get a good... Uh, measurement. That's a good shot. Not yes, it is. Windy, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, it's really windy. Technical wow. green, too. And lots of hazards. Yeah. Well, hmm. I don't think that's going to affect you the way it did me, though. No, it didn't blow me back in. <laughs> I ended up way over to the left. That didn't work out the way I thought it would at all. I think the difference was I used backspin and you didn't. Oh, uh, well. Now you got to really hit this hard. Uh, yeah. Just like Arnold. Oh, that's a good shot. Look at you! <sighs> oh, I missed it. No, you didn't. Oh, no, I didn't. It went right in the dead center in the middle <laughs> of the cup. I thought it was gonna go break more than that. I don't know, sometimes I get lucky. You're hanging in there. Yep. Yeah, I'm not going to get back down to even, I don't think, though. Oh, well, you might. Next hole's a par five. Yeah, I know, but I don't do any better on those than I do on any other. <laughs> now, let's see here. Uh-oh. That's bad. He pushed it to the right. That's going to go dead center into the cactuses. Maybe not. It'll stay in the rough. Oh, no, it'll roll back down the hill into the fairway. Oh, no problem is now I'm in the middle of a big-ass hill. Yeah. Well, that looks like nowhere to go over there. So maybe we'll try and go this way instead. Okay. Uh, yeah. Nice shot. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> I nice shotted it into a bunker. What do you think of that, hey? Yep. Boy. Well, that's the way she goes. At least you're in the fairway. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not any worse off than I would be on any other normal par five, right? I'm not any worse off than you will be after this shot. <laughs> yeah, hitting my goddamn sandwich is a second shot. Yeah. Oh, I shanked it. Fuck. That's what I mean, though, by you can recover from making a bad shot. No. You know? I can't recover from making a bad shot. Maybe you can. I cannot. Nice if I shank it, I'm fucked. Because I aim exactly dead center to where I want to, the ball to land. And if I shank it at all, any room for error at all, I'm screwed. Nice shot. Ooh, that's a good shot. Yep. Nice See that? I recovered from making a bad shot. You did. Maybe you. Then all, all of us are as good as this as you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh I, I didn't hit that hard enough. Because, Fuck. uh, you know, only an incompetent could be a minus 11 at this point. That's, That's right. right. Look at that. Look at that incompetence right there. Only an incompetent has to make a 50 foot putt on a par 5 after hitting a sandwich on their second shot. Ah, well, I made it fit even. Oh, well, there you go. See? You didn't think you were going to make it back. You made it back. You're good enough to play with us. <laughs> you did better than AI Ralph would have. Did I? You did. Mm. Well, Look at that. I don't know. All right. The way you look at it is if you're going to enjoy this game, you have to approach it like uh, you don't really have any expectations. You're just playing the, just for something to do. Uh, you got to be super competitive all the time. Swing it harder, hit it harder, hit yeah. it farther. Well, I guess on the next episode, you'll be playing the five-course tournament, eh? Possibly. Unless you want to do course six first. Well, no. We'll, we'll watch the tournament for it. Do you think you'll be able to squeeze five holes in, in or five courses in in one tournament in one <laughs> It'll episode? be an extra long episode. Yeah, yeah I, I guess, guess so. So be prepared for an extra long golf episode next time. All right. Oh, I'm Rec V5. And I'm Sandman99. Have a good one.